Have you ever bought something online that looked really cool, but you get it and see that it just has no real-world application? Well, this COB or chip on board light is really cool and really, really bright. Only 10 bucks, by the way. It works great sitting on my bench plugged into my power supply. It has no fixture or power. Yeah, I basically bought a rectangular light bulb. Okay, maybe seven rectangular light bulbs. Normally, I'd just sit this aside in one of my future project bins, but I'm running out of room, so I'd like to go ahead and figure out a way to use this thing. So, how do we make this useful? Well, I could find an enclosure on the thingy world to print. Maybe strap on a few sad laptop batteries. Or we can overbuild it. just so happens I have a power source that I think will be just right for this project. 26 amp hour lithium ion battery pack. It's portable, has its own handle, charge port on the bottom, cute little level indicators. These are surplus medical cart batteries, Mobius I believe. You can get them surplus or off eBay for 30 40 bucks, fairly cheap. The plan is to mount the LED panel to the flat back surface to make a portable, rechargeable light block, brick, bright brick thing. Let's prototype this up. I expect to get lots of runtime from this. If we're pulling one amp at 26 amp hours, well, that's just an incalculable amount of time incalculable. Plus a tip to the outside, minus tip next to it, and we have light. Yeah, we're gonna need a switch. Now, I want to run these wires internally and solder them inside, so we leave the charge port here open. That'll also leave this bottom surface flat so it'll stand up. I see batteries. They look like plain old 18650 lithium ion, which is good in case we need to replace a bad cell. We can just swap it out. Hopefully we can get in here without breaking anything or setting anything on fire. These things have a balance board built in, you can see here, so we don't have to worry about adding one of those. Let's take these cables off and get a better look. Here's the ribbon cable to the level test button and LEDs. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe, I don't know, a hand sensor? I think these plastic panels act as shields in case of fire or explosion. Safety features, I guess. Or adventure suppression devices. You can see here that each row of nine batteries is connected in parallel. This is a 3S or 3 in series configuration. Wired plus, minus, plus, minus for 12 volts or so. We'll want to connect into the battery. It looks like although there are two wires, they're connected to the same place electrically to increase current load. Let's find a spot for our switch. So as not to short anything out, I've crafted an exact replica of my switch as a volumetric guide. Yeah, I was hoping the switch would fit under the handle, but it looks like we'll need to mount it on the side where our fun deterrents used to be. Let's 
since I don't find my sharpie, we'll take a precise gander at where we want it. As far as I can tell, it looks like we're safe to drill between these two holes to feed in the wires. I drilled through the PCB holes to feed wire to and from the switch since there's no room beside the PCB. I'll put specs and more information on parts I used in the description. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell below to see how these ended up working out. I think they'll be great for outdoor video lighting. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you soon.